Hi guys and welcome back to Maltbox, the non-chill filtered whiskey blog. I'm Andy and I'm back here today with another whiskey review. The whiskey that I'll be looking at today is an Isla single malt. It's from an independent bottler slash retailer, you could argue. Uh, it's a whiskey that's been around for a little while, but I just thought that I'd have a rummage around the sample drawer, see what I've, uh, I've still got knocking around that I've not yet covered, that realistically is still available. I've got samples in there going back to 2010, 2009 and earlier. I am not kidding. I'm not hoarding them. Well, I suppose I am, but not intentionally. Um, they just pile up, basically, and I never get around to going back to them. I think, yeah, do you know what? I'll remember that's in there. I don't. Um, so the whiskey that I'll be looking at today, again, is still available um, on places like Master of Malt, the Whiskey Exchange and further afield. It is bottled by a company called Atom Brands. The subcategory being the Isla Whiskey Company. I had to look at the label then. And it's this, it's the Aerolite Lindsay 10 year old. I've only got a sample. I don't have a full bottle of this at the moment. But there you go, hopefully you can make out some detail on that, that label there guys. So. First things first, Aerolite Lindsay is not a distillery. Aerolite Lindsay is an anagram for Isla whiskey or an Isla single malt or something along those lines. I'm not very good at anagrams. There's no M in there, is there? So it's not a single malt. Someone tell me. I'm sure it's Isla whiskey or something like that. So this is bottled by Atom Brands. Now they do have a connection with Master of Malt, I think, as an overall um, company basis, like a holding company basis. This is bottled at 46%. I believe it to be non-chill filtered and natural color. However, obviously on the sample, it does not tell me that. Um, so yeah, again, just another correction. The actual sub company name outside of Atom Brands is the character of Isla Whiskey Company. So there are a few other releases in there. Aerolite Lindsay, I believe, being the youngest. Uh, however, there's a couple of others that go all the way up to 30 odd years old. I have had the privilege of trying those and they are very good indeed. So let's see what this has to offer. So, given it's from a mystery distillery on Iowa, I think we've got to assume that it's going to be from, before we start, that it's got to be from one of the ones with a bit more output, maybe a bit more flexibility outside of other commitments to either malt or blends. So it's not going to be Kill Holman, for example. You wouldn't have thought. Well, it might be. We'll see. Hmm, interesting. On the right, so on the colour front, again, I believe it to be a natural colour. Ignore my thumbprint on the side of the glass that I've just put on there. That's that's classy. Quite a nice light gold, which tells me it's either ex bourbon or some form of refill, possibly both or refill bourbon, one of the two. Um, yes, I'm swirling the glass, but such is life. That's just my style. That's just the way I do it. It's a habit. Some legs on the glass that are going down quite quick on the nose. Very, very nice. A lovely, what I would define as classic Isla nose. Really is. You've got some citrus in there. You've got sea air, salty sea air. You've got the peat smoke. You've got iodine in there as well, sticking plasters, and a real freshness about it as well. Very, very nice indeed. There's a slightly herbal note in there. Bit of vanilla possibly. And something akin to sort of like lemon curd, maybe lemon meringue pie, because you've got sort of sweeter note, I guess, towards the end, which you could see as pastry potentially. And maybe that meringue on top is giving it like a little bit of a charry smoky note. And then you've got the lemon in, in the, the uh, lemon meringue filling as well. It's a really, really pleasant, I wouldn't say simple, it's not simple. When I say pleasant, it's not simple there's still stuff there still quite engaging but it's also quite reassuring it is what you expect an isla to smell like depending i suppose on your definition of what you like in isla whiskies 
Some people just want Oxymore all day, every day. Not everyone does. I personally don't. I like Oxymore, but I like to mix it up a bit and, and have something a little bit other than smoke. Could be a touch of smoked meat in there as well. But overall, it's that lovely kind of citrus, sea air, peat smoke, and that herbaceous quality in there as well. Very, very well balanced on the nose. Let's see what it's like on the palate. Good mouthfeel. Again, got, got a nice level of salinity in there. Got the citrus back in there as well from the nose. A lovely spice. We've got some, we've got some definite oak influence in there as well. Finish, quite long, quite warming. I think overall you've got that, that smoke that, this isn't a pun by, by the way, it peters out. Um, and leaves you with this nice sweetness in there, alongside the citrus and vanilla from the nose. Frazzles, like frazzle crisps. If you live in, in the UK, you'll know what they are. If you don't, they're just like little imitation bacon slices, but they're a crisp, like a, a snack. Really, really nice, like smoky bacon flavour. There is still that herbaceous note from the, the nose. I would probably describe it, rather than a, a mulchy, earthy herbaceous note, I would literally describe it as something like dried oregano, to be honest. And then that sort of sets you up for some really nice milky chocolate notes you've got that citrus in there as well probably say it's probably closer to that lemon rather than orange so the lemon back from the nose and the finish i've already touched on very sweet almost like as well we've got some some sort of flavors akin to that marshmallow ish no meringue it's not marshmallow is it meringue topping on um a lemon meringue hence the name lemon meringue why would it be why would it be marshmallow? You can tell that I'm the one that make I'm not the one that makes desserts in this house. Hmm. Really, really nice. Also a little bit drying. My teeth are get becoming a little bit dry. But do you know what? I actually quite like that in a whiskey such as this. It kind of reminds me a little bit of standing on the pier at the sea and just having the wind blowing in your face. You sort of like maybe get get a bit of sea spray. You open your mouth to talk, and you basically just your entire face just dries out. And your mouth dries out. So Aerolite Lindsay, which again I think stands for an Isla whiskey, is an anagram. Could be wrong, and an acronym. Don't know which one the the right one uh, to use is. Great little drop. I believe what I haven't touched on is I believe this retails for between thirty five and forty pounds. Now. That to me provides quite good value for money, um, to be honest with you. Very, very tasty. There's some competitors in that range. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, you're right, your Ardbeg 10 is probably operating around there when it's on sale. Um, a couple of others as well. However, this is what I would define as an atypical um, Isla distillate. Very, very tasty, very approachable. This is the kind of Isla that I think if somebody was struggling with peated whiskies, wouldn't necessarily struggle with. I don't think it would put them off. It's very approachable, very engaging. I'm not gonna say it's soft, because it's not soft, but it's not an Ardbeg 10. It's not quite as dry or as intense as an Ardbeg 10, but it does have a lot of lovely qualities that kind of soften it up a little bit around the edges. So for me, very, very tasty drop indeed. Will I be getting a bottle? Quite possibly, I think I might treat myself to one actually. Very, very good. And I think this is one of those Isla whiskies that you can just keep going back to. It's just like a midweek sipper, something you don't necessarily have to think too much about, but something that carries what you need to scratch that Isla itch is probably the way that I would describe it. Very good value and very tasty indeed. So guys, I'm gonna box it off now. Thank you very much for watching. 
Uh, if you've not already checked me out on social media, Twitter at Maltbox, Instagram at Maltbox Whiskey. Again, please guys check out maltboxwhiskey.com. That is a website that's completely separate to this channel that has other reviews that I don't cover on here and other uh, opinion pieces and things like that, recipes and, and whatever else. It'd be great to see you over there. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.